Welcome back to Jamaica, Jamaica, yesterday, today, and tomorrow. My name is Leon, and this is where I share my personal opinion on politics today. An interesting opinion from a different perspective, right? Because I like data, I like analyze what go on and talk to people. So I'm going to share my opinion from a very interesting perspective. So this conversation arises from talking to my barber yesterday. And um, him basically say, yo, why bro got knock on the election? Um, so that's where, it, that's where it followed from. So my assessment of why bro got knock on the election right now, I don't think he thinks that he will win. Right now, he's not the favorite politician right now, even though he's favored. I don't feel like him thinks he would actually win. But the next question, and we are going to kind of dive into who would win if the election car right now. All right, so one of the major things why I think that Brogad don't call the election right now are the crime rate. The crime rate, the, um, it, it, we still have time for either the crime rate go up or the crime rate go down. So why I said that is because a few, I think like two weeks ago, him wait until the crime report um, forward from the JCF for January to June and there was a little spike we are talking about 11% down the crime rate down 11% and that's when him feel comfortable and say alright yes I'm going to send troops to Haiti because you know people are going to say well look on the crime rate in a Jamaica you feel fix the crime rate but him can't point to say well we are actually do the work and the crime rate are going down some more so that are one of the reasons why and then the economy a big thing everybody most people the analysts them say well you know jamaica economy they on a steady growth um things are going for jamaica but the people them on the ground i say yo we are not feeling this who who who, who, who what do you mean what do you mean the economy great i'm still hungry me can't make a, a livable wage and a bugger thing so with all of that in the ear right now him don't feel like so him can win you know and as much as mr andrew um um mark golin is trailing in the polls um mark golin the pan heels so who will actually win if andrew Olness called the election right now we have the uic we have the mark golin and we have ah, brogad andrew Olness. Who would actually win? So UIC, very, very confusing. The majority of the people don't understand the politics. Um, so we would not say, I don't feel like the UIC would not win. He might have at least another decade for God before him actually get him foot in. Okay, Mark Golden. Um, people are still not comfortable with Mark Golden right now. And even though they might do some work, them lack the superstar team them lack the superstar team them lack the togetherness them lack uh, a few more things and even though they are doing good them are do them are get more comfortable with the public you know them are go in front of the camera them are ask for investigation and things like i may applaud them them actually do some work but at the end of the day if the election who um was called today Brogad would actually win uh and one of the reasons why him would actually win and him actually save himself was the other day when them do the pay hike right me feel like say if him never do a change right there so it would be over the pay hike if him never reverse the pay hike and say all right cool me now go take the pay hike um, Uno can do anything, but me not take it. If him never actually do that, he would have knows. Because what we see from that is a bunch of people, a bunch of people when they really invest in a politics like that, them go from them just got them work and them just live them life. And then when the election time come, them just fought. But you have all walks of people, uptown, downtown, PMP, labor right, everybody. We actually protest because when I say like every Jamaican will protest, like everybody will say something, but people actually take action, come to the street, have a conversation, voice them opinion, and make them voices heard. And when him see that, him say, "Whoa, 
may I get too comfortable? And then him actually change that. So we kind of see a little bit of hope. So if him never do that, the conversation would be a whole different um, perspective. So yes, the R truth is, Bro God and the JLP will win if the election is called today. I don't know if what's going to happen in the next two year or next year from now. We have whole heap of time. But if it was called, yeah, Bro God will not win. So, again, thank you for tuning in. And I will see you tomorrow. Or when we're going to see me tomorrow. Another interesting perspective. So, big up on yourself, Jamaica, Jamaica. My name is Leon. T take care on yourself.